What's up everybody? Dave here with a brand new video on the channel today. We are going to deep dive the Honda Civic, the Honda Civic, and I'm going to give you my setup, which on 6th Street Bridge, uh, since it has a slight downhill at the end of the track, um, I am hitting mid 10.0s. Uh, I've had like one 9.9, 9 something on my quarter mile, but largely I'm mainly hitting like the 10.0s. So I wanted to give you guys the setup. I wanted to run through a deep dive on the car and let's get it on. So this is the 0.7.2 setup. So as the game gets balanced and change with updates and such, this setup may change. So for right now, we'll grab our Honda Civic and grab one from Fast Eddie's or you can grab one, just your starter car. Run over to Speed Lab. If it is your first time in the game or you haven't played the game in about eight hours, at least in this version, click this little plus sign, you'll gain about a hundred thousand bucks, and I think it's a thousand gold. And that's only for like the alpha testing and such right now. So right now, you can see I have my Honda Civic. Let's go performance and we're gonna go over the setup one by one. So I like to do forced induction last because then it gives you the maximum number. So like right now it says I'm only going to gain 10 HP and four pounds from this turbo. This turbo is going to actually cause me problems. And that's actually kind of by design, but I'll explain that in a deep dive video at another time. So engine internals, you're going to want the CKR crankshaft, the works heads, the flow pro valves, the golden Hawk block, this one, not this one. You're going to want the CKR rods. And you're going to want the power dyne pistons, not this one, this one, the very last one. Intake system, you're going to want the skunk tube billet, the speedworks, and the skunk tube intake manifold. As far as fuel system, you're going to want the uh, injector dynamic 1050. Cooling, you're going to want the Gretti Performance oil cooler and the Mishimoto radiator. Cool to see those brands. Uh, Mishimoto was a big brand in Nitto 1320 Legends. On exhaust, you're going to want Red Tech Catback. You're going to want the Works Exhaust Manifold. And you're going to want the Flow Tech Catalytic Converter. Electronics wise, you're going to want the Fuel Pro ECU and the MSD Ignition Pack. Nitrous, you're going to want the 100 shot. Suspension, you're going to want the Shock Pro Suspension. Drivetrain, you're going to want the Clutch Pro Clutch, the Type R Flywheel, the Axle Pro Drive Shaft, the Meekin Spool Diff, and the Synchro Pro Transmission. On tires, you're going to want the Radial Slicks, and on body, you're going to want the Fully Gutted. And then from there, you're going to want Supercharger is how I run my car. And then you're going to add that all to your cart, you know, do whatever you need to do for... Uh, Part install and you know if you want to do some visual tuning add the body kits and wheels and such there are new wheels in the game which is pretty sick so I like to stagger my wheels because I'm a Honda boy we're gonna go tuning let's look at stance first front and back are identical this is probably the biggest thing that's gonna change over time with updates is right now suspension is a little bit weird so this is what makes your car the fastest in front wheel drive if it is rear wheel drive, it's different. If it's all wheel drive, it's different. But there are three perfect ways to make your car its fastest, basically, depending on your drivetrain. So this one, you want ride height two, all the way just slammed to the ground. No camber, no spacer. Rim diameter, you want it to be 14. Rim width, you want it 4.5. Tire stretch, negative 20. And sidewall, you want 30. It's the same on the front and the rear. Now, if we go run this, oh, gears, duh. So 3.69 for final, 4.69 for first gear. Anybody that knows me uh, knows that 69 will be slid into all of my gear ratios somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, second gear, 2.23. Third gear, 1.45. Fourth gear, 1.04. Fifth gear, 0 0.81. And sixth gear, 0 0.64. I'm not giving away my secret of how I make my ratios, though. Actually, I think I've said it a couple times on the forum. Ooh, that's a new pop-up. Anyway, so that's the gear ratios. Now, how do I drive it? So let's go to the test track. 
and I'll teach you how to drive it. Very simple to run this car, very simple. So basically what you wanna do is kinda of rev it up to about, I think it's 63 or 64% on the throttle slider. And then you wanna use nitrous in third gear and shift every gear at about 7,100, 7,200. I like to have it rev a little faster and then I drag it, drag it back down. And then there we go. I haven't actually ran it very much here. So it might run a little bit off because on here there's not the downhill. So 10.13 is kind of expected. I've had a couple 10.0s here on Tustin, but largely overall you're going to hit 10.1s on Tustin. So if we go over to 6th Street real quick, I'm going to pause until I'm loaded in there. All right, so we're going to load a race here on 6th Street. And like I said, there's a little bit of a difference in the racetracks, uh, Tustin and 6th Street, especially test track wise. Um, on 6th Street, there's a little bit of a downhill at the end of the racetrack because it's a real world place. So they kind of modeled it after the real world place and even added the downhill that the bridge has to connect to the land, which is pretty sick. It's one of my favorite parts of this, actually, because there's a little bit of different tuning that goes into it uh, if you want to race here specifically, which is pretty sweet. So we're going to rev up. I revved a little bit high there, but that's okay. And we're on the downhill. I shifted a little bit weird. So it's not going to be one of my fastest times here. But overall, not a bad starter tune. Let me know in the comments down below if you change anything. And let me know what you guys end up running. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.